Here comes the rain again. Straight out of Narawa here. Here's Mario. Hello, Mario's Daily Vlog, number 674, JIT, Friday, February the 22nd, 2019. Hello, hello, welcome, 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 hi 3.5, how's your day been? Well, mine's been wonderful, but just a little bit risky. Risky, I'd say, risky. So, JIT. <laughs> what does it mean? Just in time. Yes, just in time. Could be a person's name. A spy, perhaps. Just in time. But no, it's a uh, teaching methodology where... You prepare or get things ready just in time. So you're not planning in detail ahead. You're sort of waiting to see what happens and then react to that with the next learning experience just in time. But when you're working outside in the elements, just in time, well, it's, it's real. It's, it's real time. So, as predicted by Moz yesterday, the cyclone coming across from Australia, uh, he in, saw the cloud formations and he was right. And so, you could feel the rain in the air for quite some time beforehand, but I had one more class to complete this week. And, well, we got it done just in time. So, class started at 8. I knew... In the previous couple of days that the same class had taken two to three hours. So I was hoping we got it all over by 10. And we just managed to get inside. It was just really spitting and wet. It wasn't uh, torrential or constant rain. But the gear was starting to get wet. So I've put the gear inside the container um, with the lids of the boxes open so it'll dry out over the weekend and I can box it back up again on uh, Tuesday when we're next out in the field and hopefully the weather has um, has um, got better. So over the Christmas break, um, we've got the uh, the big, uh, the what? well, it's a covered area. You can see it's got uh, Milwaukee written on it. Uh, that's for our tradesmen um, area there. And all of the tools are have been sponsored by the Milwaukee uh, Tool Company from the States, a brand of um, tools. And, uh, well, according to the guys, they're, not, they're reasonably happy with the tools. Uh, they're getting uh, better and better, they reckon. And uh, we've, we've come up, well, the boys are calling it the big top. Because the it's got no sides, it's just a roof to give a covered area for the um, trades uh, students to work. So it's got um, oh they're building little houses and things in there. But um, yeah, they're calling it the big top. <laughs> um, the uh, more cynical uh, amongst us uh, reckon um, it's um, yeah it's a bit of a circus under the big top. But <laughs> that's another story. Uh, work better workplace story. So yeah, so here's a picture of my students in the background there with the uh, fairly ominous looking uh, weather pattern there. And uh, yeah, doing the uh, little levelling exercise. And we got it done just in time. So uh, yeah, well done. And uh, awesome, uh, had an awesome group there, quite a big group. Uh, four or five groups, maybe 20 or so students, so uh, yeah, um, got great stuff there, working away, doing a bit of levelling. So uh, here's the diary, um, I have to say the lawns, you might be thinking I'm neglecting the lawns, but if you look at the steps, I've got my step rate up quite high, I'm getting back home quite late at night, well late-ish, you know, around six-ish, and quite tired, but 
to be fair, the lawns are not really growing at this time. It's high summer, a lot of heat, not too much water around. So um, the lawns are, are still looking pretty good. They're not uh, growing prolifically. So we're not too worried about those. 6,056 steps. Uh, 674 vlog JIT or just in time. And we've got a question today. Where, what, who? 278 is aware. Still live. Um, a bit of a hello to uh, Tyron and Scarlett, new subscribers to the channel. So uh, thanks for joining us and uh, welcome, welcome, welcome. And uh, look out, Web Crap of the Week uh, coming out uh, later on tonight. Six hours of teaching today, pretty busy. And uh, I've on the way home, I popped into the warehouse to get some uh, cups for. Um, visitors cups so I'm still working on cups and making cups and uh, what have you six hours of teaching I got home tonight around about five <clears throat> and I uh, had a wee nap for about three hours <laughs> till about eight oh seven or eight o'clock so um, yeah pretty uh, pretty tired but and then off for an infusion tomorrow so up early at six so it's uh, go 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 busy 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 so let's have a look at the uh, today's challenge. What are known as the unicorns of the sea? Is it the manatee, the marlin, the narwhal, or the walruses? The unicorns of the sea. Which is it? And yesterday's question, coming up now, what does kismet mean? Well, Moz told us via... A uh, nostalgic recollection of the fickle finger of fate from the program Laughing, I think, from memory. And uh, Moz brought that up. I do remember the fickle finger of fate. And uh, that is, of course, what kismet does mean. It means fate. And Moz uh, told a wonderful story about, as I said, the fickle finger of fate. Got to be very careful how we say that, but I'll say it one more time. The fickle finger of fate. Not that finger. High 3.5. So, uh, well done, Moz. Well done, everybody. Thanks for your liking and subscribing, for your um, ringing the notification bell, interacting with the uh, videos and all of that stuff you do. Uh, big shout out to Elliot Plays. Uh, there for his uh, comments uh, each day, or your fairly regular commenter. Thanks very much. Appreciate your um, your support. And uh, yeah, we get down to your channel and have a look there. So go and have a look at Elliot Plays. He plays a wonderful game of all sorts of things with um, some marvellous commentary um, associated with it. So I think, uh, well, we'll, we'll say goodbye. And thanks, everybody. We'll hopefully uh, see you again tomorrow for more of the same or something a little bit different anyway. All good. Cheers. See you. And, well, smash that like button. This has been a Mario presentation from our studio in Narawahia, New Zealand.